Hello guys and welcome back to Lake. Things got a little bit romantic in the last episode. I think it's one of my favorite episodes yet. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And uh, let's keep going. I don't think this is going to be the last episode. I think we've still got a fair amount to do yet. Um, but yeah, sit down, grab a tea, a coffee, a fizzy pop, <laughs> and enjoy the video. Let's do it. Oh yes, I remember. Uh, we have quite a Good few deliveries to make today. There's a lot going on. Will it be a P or a double P? Walter Morgan has the answer. Every now and then, I spend some time in Providence Oaks, and I'm always happy to see this beautiful and orderly village and its well-mannered inhabitants. Did someone just call me well-mannered? <laughs> oh, I'll take it. Let's see if the weather will behave today. Everyone is fairly well-mannered, I would say. Yeah, I think that's I think that's fair. Seems like a nice place I would like to go and visit, for sure. I've only been to um, LA and New York in terms of America, so I've, I've barely touched the surface, basically. I do want to do some more traveling eventually. Uh, where is the next letter? Here we go. Yeah, I'm really intrigued to see where this game goes now. Obviously, we have this relationship with Angie. Uh, they just kissed. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. How's this going to conclude? She's supposed to be going back to normal life in a couple of days. I'm very intrigued to see where this goes. Another letter. There's so many parcels around here. Damn. Parcels and letters to be delivered. I'm a busy Amazon person indeed. Alright, let's go. Uh, take the right here, yeah. There's a parcel here. Does Angie have a parcel? I think she might. That could be interesting. Beep! What are you doing? Get out of my way! I'm in a rush. Oh, no. <laughs> just park it here. It's fine. Which, which house is it? Is it the white one? Um, which street is this? Ah, there you go. Right place, nice and small. It's barely a package, it's more like a letter. Will they answer the door? I must admit, I would like to see more people answer the door. Um, there's a lot of parcels which we just sort of drop off. I want more interaction. I guarantee we've dropped this by the door. Nope, no yep. answer. <laughs> uh, that's me being picky though. Obviously, this is such a a small indie game and it, it's got so much character so much life to it it's so unique the pace of it is yeah I don't know I really like it <laughs> you guys know that by now alright next up Angie I bet she ordered something on purpose yeah that's how desperate she is to meet us uh, Main Street yep what on earth did these folks order is it me? Is it like a really busy day? There's a lot of packages. Oh, Angie, you go. Oh, hey, you. Oh. Hi. Oh. So I'm guessing you want to rent a movie, huh? <laughs> We've got a great selection. I've, I've been here before. Um, <laughs> actually, that's not what I'm here for. Um, yeah, actually, you got anything romantic? Oh, really? Got anything romantic? <laughs> <laughs> sure do. Or, <laughs> wait, you do mean movies, right? So, what's on your mind, babe? You're on my mind. <laughs> well, I like you, but I think we should just be friends. Oh, I don't see that. Uh, I think I'm starting to like you a lot. I think I'm starting to like you a lot. And I'd like to ask you to be a little less awesome. It's distracting me. <laughs> no can do, Miss Weiss. Being awesome is my thing. Would you ask Rocky to stop boxing? <laughs> Touche. So anyway, what's on your mind? A rare moment of quiet contemplation. You look a little distracted. Taking stock of the store? Or of your life? Oh, that's serious. You look a little distracted. Yeah, you a little You look bit. a little distracted. <sighs> yeah, I, I just... You ever get the feeling you're not where you need to be? 
Yeah, I feel like Meredith's probably in that scenario as well. I know the feeling. You feel that way about Providence Oak? Maybe we should travel together. No, no, that's too much. Um, I know the feeling. Yeah. yeah, I know that feeling. I know it all too well. It's just that this whole Flick Shack adventure, I think it was the right idea at the wrong time. What do you mean? And in the wrong place. Yeah, business, there's not many people about. And they're a bit old-fashioned, some could say. Um, and in the wrong place? I think so. Yeah, I oh. think I'm just too different for this town. Plus, got a point. business hasn't really been booming. Ah, and here I was hoping our movie box project would turn things around. <laughs> it almost did. Don't think that it didn't help. That's what I mean with the wrong time. I'm sure video will be huge. <laughs> but it isn't. Not yet. Not here, anyway. So you're leaving? Yeah. Yes, I am. Wow. I, I didn't realize until just now that I'd already made my mind up. But I guess I have. I'm leaving. Gosh, it feels so liberating to say. Well, there it is. So Angie's leaving as well. Maybe they could leave together. Go back to the city. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, there it is. How about you? Have you made your mind up yet? Uh, about Ooh. your future, I mean? Um... Yeah. I think I have. I don't... Have we? I don't know. Me? No, not yet. Well, take your time. I want to give it my full attention when you do decide. And right now... I really have to start organizing the grand closing of the Flick Shack. We hardly knew ye. Maharia. I'll swing by later. Aww. I love these two. I knew at the very start there was chemistry there. It's so obvious. Oh. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. 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 That's my fault. I didn't realize the conversation was going to be that long. Sorry. Apologies. I am such a nuisance. I made that mistake last time as well. Another castle. At 300 Jackson Street. Yeah, what's going to happen? Andy's going. 301, yeah. Andy's going. Meredith's going. It does seem like the future is maybe not in Providence Oak. I guess no one's in all right i'll leave it on the doorstep what come on need more people more interactions letter as well yeah i hope uh frankie's okay i hope Kay and Here's meredith can be friends again and hopefully angie and meredith can go off into the sunset together i mean that's that's the dream right 103 E Fourth Street. I swear American addresses are so confusing. I don't get it. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Really? It's tiny. What is it, a brick? <laughs> it's so small as well. Anyone there? Alright, I'll All right. leave it on the doorstep. Lovely. I'll leave a brick on the doorstep. What, what could that possibly be? So I believe we have a package. For Moe's! And Kay might be there, so could be some interesting dialogue. I also want to take a picture of Moe's. Definitely. So pull up, take a picture. My parking has been horrendous, by the way. I do apologise. Look at that. Lovely. Anything else? I'm taking a picture of the, uh, the van already, so that's fine. Oh, one sec. I need the package. You idiot. 500 Lake Crows. That's a big one. Whoa, what's that? <gasps> Maybe it's the sign. <gasps> Maybe it is. Maybe Kay's going to put herself on the sign. <gasps> Might be a neon light. Hi, Kay. Package for you. Might as well give it to you now instead of at home. <laughs> I guess so. 
I thought I might as well give it to you now instead of, you know, waiting till you're home. Oh, thanks. That's super amazing. Thank you. Um, it's legal, right? <laughs> it's nothing illegal, right? Oh my god. I'm so excited about this. What is it? I see. This is a guessing game. All what right. Is it? is it a. Just tell me. A new rocket. Um, a bunch of copies of E.T. <gasps> the E.T. game. Didn't that get, um... Didn't they, like, put that into, like, a, a, into a site and just bury it? Just bur buried loads of copies of E.T. Because no one bought it. A bunch of copies <laughs> of the E.T. game? Ugh, I hope not. <laughs> okay. Uh, the suspense is killing me. Open it. You don't have to tell me. I mean, if it's illegal. It's definitely legal. Don't worry. It's fine. The suspense is killing Open me. It. Open it. Okay, you ready? What? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 oh. synthesizer. I did not expect that. Oh, man, I am super stoked this arrived so soon. I got this amazing deal on it through the classifieds. This old guy was selling it. Apparently, he had never really used it. I mean, what? How? Can you imagine owning something like this and not using it every hey, moment hey, you get? Calm down. I mean, this synth is used everywhere these days. So I was like, yes, this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I can get carried away about this kind of stuff. You think? No, no kidding. I know. You're doing that speeding up thing. She talks so quickly. I know. You're doing that speeding up thing again. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait. Are you a programmer? Because Correct. if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. Stop. Stop. You're doing it again. I don't get it. You should totally try out programming. It's so fun. It's not. <laughs> Stop, you're doing it again. Oh man, you're right. Listen, Em, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now, what will you have? It's on the house. Ooh. I mean, a pie would be lovely. Pie? I mean, I'd love some blueberry pie if you have yes. it. Ooh, I just sold the last slice. Oh, come on. We're clean out. Anything else? Um, what's the, what does that even mean? I owe you? I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now. But good to see you. And thanks again. No problem. What does that mean? Have fun with your synthesizer. I've never had that sign before. Yes, thanks. Oh, what does that mean? All right, fair enough. We have one more package. And then we need to speak to Robert. I guess about the um, impending eviction. Yeah. Get that sorted out, ASAP. I feel like this 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 package is in the middle of nowhere. Where is it? Yeah, we haven't been that far before. Okay. We'll give it a go. Hopefully we don't get lost. Yeah, this is the last package. It's been a it's been a busy day. Very busy day. I guess postmen have quiet days and I'm guessing busy days. It just sort of happens. I don't know. It just depends, I guess, doesn't it? Obviously, Christmas, you're going to be busy every day. Uh, go right up here. All oh, these houses look so cool. There's like a mini centre park. So random. This must be the, the, the last house on this lot. Hidden away. Oh. Uh. Huh? Oops. Left the package in the truck. Uh. Someone lives here? Surely not. What the? What is that? <gasps> That's a chainsaw. Surely. Okay. Is someone there? That's not a door. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. That is weird. That's a chainsaw, I swear it. Okay. I was... I still think this game could turn dark. I, did, I know it probably won't, but there's always that little... little thought in my mind where I'm like, this, this could... this could turn at any second. Anyway, uh, let's get back to Roberts and discuss the eviction. Weird. Robert is not in the usual place. What is that about? 
already cutting down some trees, I guess. What is he up to? Robert? Oh! There he is. <laughs> Actually climbing a tree. Look at him go. Hey, oh. Meredith. I'm up here. Hey, Robert. Yeah, we can see you, Robert. Wow, that's really high. Wow, that's really high. What? I can't hear you. Open your ears, you idiot. Uh, maybe you should come down. Yes. Should I come up as well? Yeah, do that. Should I come up as well? Sorry, I can't hear you. Maybe I should come down first. Okay. <laughs> I went to climb up. I went to see that happen. Can you hear me now? Hi, Meredith. Hello. Loud and clear. That's Hi, better Robert. Indeed. That's better indeed. Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up suddenly. Awesome. I'd love to try that sometime. Oh, good for you. Awesome. I'd love to try that sometime. It's great up there. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. Anyways. I figured it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Ah, oh, okay. So, what now? Well, I want you to listen to my wild card plan. Oh, he's gonna tell us. Right, your wild card plan, right, what is it? your wild card plan. I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound studio. Ah. Right, okay, go on in. Um... Right, and then? Well, we'll start jamming. Some music producer accidentally drives by. Offers us a contract on the spot. Next stop, rich and famous. That's generally not how it works. <sighs> you're not being serious, are you? I have a feeling you're not being serious right now. Yeah, you got me there. <laughs> It'll actually be a radio message to get the people in Providence Oaks involved. This afternoon at Jack Reynolds' bar. A professional sound studio, huh? All right. I think we have enough time, right? Okay, I'm in. Great. Meet me there after work. I gotta get back up in this tree now. See you later. <laughs> okay. Uh, good luck up there. Be careful up there. Be careful. Bye. Be careful up there. Thanks. All right, we're going to a radio station to record a message to get support the local foot. So back to Mr. Robert here. Good luck, Robert. I guess that's going to be obviously after work. Can I fast travel, by the way? I can fast travel! Ah, oh, you didn't know that. <laughs> so there's like four center points. Oh, wow, okay. That makes my life a little bit easier. I didn't know that. That's a little embarrassing. I don't know, I guess it's more relaxing driving around. The options there, I guess. I believe that is the shift. Done, right? It is. There we go. Let me count fast travel. Mad. Okay, folks, it's showtime. Robert, are you ready? Yes, but before we start, like me. I'm, I'm not a pro, so please bear with me. You'll be great. This better be worth it. Don't say that. You'll do great. Don't okay, say Robert. That. That's take horrible. it away. <clears throat> Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Perfect. That's a wrap, folks. Back to work. Hold on. Hold on, Jack. Meredith, what do you think? Oh, you want me to get involved? Um, it needs a bit more passion, it does. Yeah. The text is fine, but I miss a revolutionary vibe. It needs more passion. Um, okay, you might be right. Jack, one more recording, please. Sure, Robert. Here we go in one, more passion. two, three, action. Yes. Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris. I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. 
Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Better? I think that's good. Yeah. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, that's a wrap. Back to tater harvesting. Meredith, I'm gonna return the favor and help Jack out today. If you love birds wanting to spend more time together, she can come along too. Plenty of work to do. Jack, what the? Um. Let's go, yeah, why not? Nothing wrong with a bit of hard work outdoors. Let's go. Rock on, let's do this. Okay, folks, hop on my tractor. It's time for the real show. Oh, baby. Yeah, Jack's always in a rush. I know the DJ is a part-time thing, I get it. Just chill, Jack. Let us do our work. <laughs> oh, we get to see it. She's knackered. Meredith, it's me. Oh, hi, Steve. I'm sorry. Didn't get the chance to look at the contracts Ooh, yet. Oh, I didn't, did I? Oh, you didn't. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I'll look at them tonight. I'll look at them tonight. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, short call. Got a rush. Corporate lawyer appointment. Crossing the T's and dotting the I's. You speak soon. Do we have time to look at them tonight? Boring, boring job. Oh, I could just watch TV. No, I, I, I help. I help. Yeah. Oh, it's the campfire tomorrow. Ooh, sweet. Uh, yeah. Review the contracts. Why not? Be productive. Now I know right. I can fast travel. Here we go again. That will help. I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do that. I can just fast travel around now. Keeping myself busy. It's now Wednesday. Again, as far as I know, the game ends on Sunday, so... Good morning, Miss Weiss. Oh, no. He's back. Um, good morning, Mr. Morning. <laughs> Don't say that. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Don't say I that. I need to inform you that your colleague Frank Coleman <gasps> has been suspended. Oh, my. Oh, why? Frank? Suspended? Why? The only thing you need to know right now is that I will be filling his spot for the time being. Ah, okay. So where's where's Frank now? All right, but where is Frank now? Frank is not here. Okay, where is he? But I'm a little worried about him. Where is he if he's not here? Somewhere else. Have a nice day, Miss Weiss. Come on, man. Is that the job for years? You just sacked him. Money, some emotions. Good morning to you. Theo, positive for that team. Today's contribution is from Matt Kearney. I have a positive. Last night's thunderstorm over the lake. I'll take a picture here. Hmm, looking good. Look at that. Scenic. We do have a package. This is Main Street. I don't know what number it is, but. Looks like a busy day again. Yep, busy, busy day. Let's get to it. Hello. You good, Nancy? Nancy. Ah, Still there's smoking. the mail. How's the photography coming along? Um, it's not quite finished yet. I haven't taken any pictures. I have taken a few. Yeah, using the camera. Okay, a bit. I guess. I've been using the camera for a bit. If you can take pictures for me like you said you would, I can get this practice in. I'll get it done, don't worry. I'll get it done. Don't worry. Okay, please take some pictures and return it today. Okay, do it today, got it. Take a one, take a what, take one of the shot, maybe? There you go. Ooh. Ooh, lovely. Ooh, lovely pictures. <laughs> you try to do it now? I've done the oh, pictures. Hello. How's the photography coming along? It's done. My photography quest has been completed. Here's your equipment back. Okay then. Let me see if I can manage to develop them. Come back tomorrow for the results. Huh? Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Hopefully they turn out okay. Fingers crossed. Let's get to it. We're busy, busy bees today. Also, we have a party later on. 
Oh, yes. Oh, and he's got a letter. Oh, it's actually What's closed. This? The Flick Shack has closed down and will not reopen. Any unreturned tapes can be dropped off before September 22nd. It has been a privilege to serve as Providence Oak's premier home cinema provider. Thank you for your patronage. All the best. Your Flick Shack proprietor, Angie. Oh, no. Hmm. Well, Angie. I hope she's okay. It was probably a dream a couple of years ago, but it just hasn't quite worked out. Just don't feel like the folk around here are that bothered. I know that sounds really bad, but yeah, disappointing indeed. Hmm, these look like bills. Oh no, that's the worst kind of letter. A tax bill. Ah, oh. honestly. If you're young and you've not experienced that yet, you don't want it. It's, it's horrible. Um, let's fast travel to here. We're going to the farm. Got a couple of packages left. Is there one back at Moe's? Maybe. Yeah, that fast travel is useful. Definitely. <laughs> I wish I knew about that. Uh, oh well, this way. It's quite nice just driving around in this game. It's so relaxing. So. I won't complain. Oh, he's waiting for these package. He always says he's really busy. But every time we turn up, he's just sitting there. He's like, oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a DJ, I'm farmer, I'm really busy. And then when we turn what up, he's just sitting there. What did these Stop. folks order? How do I lock? Those Amazon Mail packages. carrier Meredith! Hello. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Good to see at least someone's working today. Um, as opposed to Frank? As opposed to Frank? As opposed to me. Can't harvest taters with all this rain. But Frank's not twiddling his thumbs, I can tell you that. Oh, you spoke to him. Is he, is he good? You spoke to him? Yeah, just talked to him on the phone. He's mad as a wet hen. It's quite entertaining, actually. Thanks for dropping by, mail carrier Meredith. I gotta get back to it. Oh, it's a bit... Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Bit worried about Frank. Okay, Jack. Honestly. Good luck with the weather. Hope it'll clear up. Thank you much. Yeah, if you've watched Jeremy Clarkson's um, farming program on Amazon, you know rain is good depending on the time of the year. But when it's harvest time, you want it to be nice and dry. Nice and dry indeed. Yeah, I think we're going back to Moe's now. Let's get to it. I wonder what this is. Had a key ball yesterday. It's quite a big box, actually. Oh, Kay's not here. Oh. It's a shame. Hi, Maureen. P.O. people. Oh. I need to pause the music for a special message. Uh, ash, darling. I want to hear this. Special message? It's so do you. It's from our own Robert Harris, who wants to <gasps> keep Providence Ooh. Oaks pretty. It's his message. Uh, don't flatter yourself. He's talking about the trees. Take it away, Robert. Dear people of Providence Oaks, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it. Give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Isn't that something? It could have been more juicy, I guess. But it does say exactly what he wants it to, which is rare for our Robert. Even though he does have his redeeming qualities, doesn't he just? I wonder how he came up with the idea, though. Um, I think he thought of it, didn't he? I don't think it's to do with us. Um, I helped out when he was recording. I think it was, it was down to him, really. Yeah. Well, actually, Robert set it up himself at Jack's. Did he now? And how would you know about that, huh? Um because nothing can none of your business <laughs> because I was at the studio because I was at the studio when he was recording it I see Robert wasn't kidding when he said uh, he wants to keep pretty things around oh, in Providence Oaks now was he <sighs> he just asked me to help uh, you think so I don't want to say here um he just asked me to help. 
No, he just asked me to help him keep it pretty. Well, that's what I heard. Anyway, I actually wanted to talk to you about something else. What are you doing this Sunday evening, Ooh. hon? Um, nothing yet. I think I'm all freed up. Nothing yet, I think. Well, I've got just the solution for you. Listen here. I'm hosting a very special first time open mic night this upcoming Sunday. Do it. We'll have some drinks, Goodbye, some food, drinks. discover the town's hidden talent or not. If you know what I mean, it'll be a hoot. I bet Robert can sing. That's my, that's a prediction. Count me in. More like a hoot and a half. Count me in. Good! I already had you down on my list, of course. But it's nice of you to RSVP. Of course. That's settled then. I will see you this Sunday at 8 p.m. And tell everyone you meet, okay? Let me see you put those postal delivery muscles to good use. Let's do it. I love that. Yeah, you don't have a choice. Why do I have the feeling I don't have a no, choice no, no, no. here? There you go. You're catching up. Now I have to go no unpack choice. some deliveries out back. But I will see you soon, darling. And don't forget about the open mic. I couldn't if I wanted to. Yeah, I think that's, that'd be a nice goodbye, wouldn't it? That'd be her last day on the job. Last day here. She'd be going home. I don't feel like she wants to go home right now. I think she wants to change, honestly. This has uh, opened her eyes to the bigger world outside that city life. All right, let's travel to here. And let's make our final last deliveries. We have two more to go. Let's get them done. Yeah, the fast traveling definitely helps. <laughs> really helps. I guess it was quite nice having to like plan my route. Now I can just dot myself around quite quickly. Still. For the cat lady. No, it's not. It's not I was getting worried. I was like, no, 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 not the cat lady. She'll probably be at the um the Sunday open mic session. though, don't worry about that. Last package. Two o two Lake Road. Oh, imagine me on that that swinging that swinging bench with that view. Ah, oh. ah, oh. jealous. Very jealous. Nope. No answer. Is anyone in? <laughs> no one's in. You think in a, a town like this, people will be at home. They're always out. I don't get it. It's weird. Very unusual. One last letter. It's actually right by our house. Final letter of the day. The number of packages have definitely picked up. I don't know why. No idea. What's that? Walnuts Drive. What a name. Oh, do I need a package? Just a letter. You see the sausage? There you go. That's the last of them. All done. So, can we just, uh,. Fast travel back. Yep, <laughs> so much quicker. And I've got a pretty fast SSD as well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same as the um, the Xbox Series X one, really. Pretty quick. Done. Another day done. Is it the the campfire party nights? I think it is. Yes, Wednesday evening. Probably gonna have to call and then go and see him. Hello? Hi, Meredith, it's me. Hey, Dad. <laughs> That's a bit cheeky. Thank you for calling Alcoholics Anonymous. Oh, How may I help you? Oh, please, Meredith, it's not that bad. You're just jealous. Am I jealous? Um, yeah, I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I am. I hope you mean about the weather. Well, 
It did rain a lot here today. Won't lie. Life could be better. Ooh. To be honest, life could be Deep. better. Oh, that's not great to hear. Is it the job? No, the job's okay. Um, the rest is a bit complicated. It is. Life is complicated. Um, no, the job's fine. The job's, job's fine. okay. The rest is a bit complicated. Complicated? Well, that sounds complicated. <laughs> I mean... Why haven't you told her yet? Let me talk to her. Well, excuse me, Mrs. Weiss. Tell her what? Meredith, sorry to break it up. Your mom wants to talk to you. Meredith, I'm so excited. Your dad and I found this cottage this weekend near the beach. It's so pretty. Not too big, but who wants to be inside anyway? I like to be inside. That sounds great. What's the plan? Live there? Wow, that sounds great. Or just... What's the plan? Live there? What? Yes. We talk to the owner. We can rent it for the time being, spend the winter here. And if we like it, we can buy it and settle down here for good. Wow. That's a big step. Awesome. I'm so happy for you. Isn't it something? And uh, it means that our house will be vacant for a while. We won't put it on oh. the market until we've tried out Florida for a few months. So, um, if you want to extend your stay in Providence Oaks. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Are you serious? I'm pretty serious, yes. But it's a pretty big deal, so just think about it for now. Hmm? Can I talk to her here? for a sec again? Yeah, here comes your dad again. Bye, dear. I'm going to get us something bubbly. Of hey, course. Meredith. Just wanted to say that I'll call again at the end of this week. Hang in there. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye, Dad. I mean, she just said she's not having... This, this stuff's complicated. And then he's like, yeah, I'm off. The bubbly's Memory. arrived. Bye. Memories. Oh god. Memories. Get out of tune. Memories. Of you this is all good. And <laughs> me. Oh no. What have I done? Just three of us? Oh. Memories. It's my worst nightmare. Oh, Mickey, <laughs> that was so deep. Right, Meredith? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. It's in the darkness when my soul stars align and, and illuminate the real me. Oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> we, we need to celebrate this moment. I'll be right back, ladies. Mickey can be difficult sometimes, but nights like these... I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but with him. Oh, That is quite cute. Is that why you're going to follow him all the way to Canada? And that's why you're following him all the way to Canada? It's also that he needs me. He would get into trouble without me. Is she interrogating you again, June? Oh, Mickey. Be nice to sweet Meredith. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. Uh, sorry for being a hard ass the other day, Meredith. It's just that we need to be a bit cautious. It's okay, Mickey. I've had worse delivery mails. True, true. Curious. Cautious about what? Is that cautious? Of what? The man, of course. Always the man? fucking man. The man, what man? So you guys are sticking it to the man. <laughs> the man? What? what man? The man, you know, in general. Anything with authority, in whatever shape or form it appears. And why would they be bothered about you? Hmm. I think I know what you mean. Feeling like a prisoner of society. Hey guys, let's not spoil this evening with heavy stuff, okay? Ah, you're so right, Junebug. Who cares about the man when I've got you? There's something that'll make you feel lighter. Much lighter. <coughs> Meredith! Uh, why not? Sure. <laughs> why not? What the? This took a My turn. turn. 
Oh, wow. How about some booze? Sure. <laughs> what, sure. Do what do you have? Beer, Why wine, not? and whiskey. Um, I feel like Meredith's more of a wine drinker. Let's go for whiskey. Whiskey. Why not? Why not? Gotcha. Be right back. Oh no, don't start singing again. Get the drink. Get the drink. Speed up. Drink. Memories. Where's that whiskey? Memories. Of you. Alrighty, here you go. Oh, he's so bad. Oh, this is the life. So, you guys on the run? So, are you guys on the run? What can I say? We've got a few unpaid parking tickets. That's it, right? Mickey had an argument with some cop, and then there's a bit of college and tax debt. Nothing major. So, we're not really on the run. It's more like speed walking. Well, I really do hope you guys... How are you guys going to cross the border? True, true. How are you guys going to cross the border? True. It's so exciting. Damien will pick us up with his Jeep tomorrow morning. We'll have a cozy hour under the blankets when we cross the border. And then we're good. Hey, I just realized we're abandoning the RV. You should totally have it. Mickey. What? Can Meredith have the RV? My piece of junk. <laughs> Knock yourself out. Really? That's true. Is it actually yours to give away? I don't know. Is it even yours to give away? Technically, no. Oh, come but on. the owner's a good guy. We'll square it with him. Don't worry. Whatever you decide, we'll leave it at the gas station. That's where we rendezvous with Damien. All right. Wild. Memories, memories, memories. You. So we actually own an RV now. It might be stolen, potentially. Nice. That was quite an experience hearing that that music. If you can call it that, honestly. That was Zetrocious. That was so bad. We have no plans coming up. Saying that, why is Sunday not filled in yet? Right guys, we're going to pause it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Cannot wait to play more of this game. Whew, I just want to see what happens. I really want to see if Meredith gets that happy ending. There seems to be a few possibilities. We've got an RV now. We can stay in Providence Oak for another couple of months. Sounds like Andy's going to be going elsewhere. What's happened to Frank? Is he good? And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon. And bye-bye.